Hi, I'm Corey Stevens, grad student at UNL. I own and operate Stevens Bee Company, and our main focus is breeding honeybees for mite and disease resistance. Uh, in order to best do that, we utilize instrumental insemination. I know a lot of people are curious about it and are thinking about adding it to their breeding operations. Um, they've asked what, what all they need to be successful, and I'm just going to show you what I use. The centerpiece here is the Schley. It was designed and made by Peter Schley. You can see ventral hook. Everything's adjustable. These are pressure grips. That's what's used to grab her stinger. And there's a couple variations you can use on sting hooks and whatnot. Um, here's a little tube. Whenever I catch the queen, she uh, hold her in my hand and she'll run up in that tube. And then I'll add this one and she'll back right up in it, and that's perfect and perfectly in position to inseminate. <clears throat> we then put her on the CO2 tube, which you can see where the CO2 comes in. That anesthetizes her and stimulates oviposition, or basically causes her to start laying eggs, stimulates her too. We've got the Harbo high capacity syringe. I really like this because it's so precise, but it's got a bigger volume to where you can do 10, 12 queens back to back. The one that comes with it is perfectly adequate, but it's just smaller. Very precise, but you can't do as many queens consecutively. The tubing I use in between the syringe and the capillary tube and the tip is small, flexible, clear tubing. And I use this bit thicker rubber tubing to connect everything together. The capillary tube, the tips, all that. Here's the capillary tubes that I use. They hold about 100 microliters or so of semen, and that's enough to do 10 queen, at least 10 queens. We use small glass tips to collect the semen and to administer it. If you can see it, the end's very tapered there. It's just a small glass tube. I like to keep a pair of these around. Clippers. You can get them out of any bee supply or sewing shops, I would think, would have them. Fine forceps. <clears throat> really good for administering these little numbered discs. You'll want to keep records on your AI queens, and so it's easy to number them and, and keep records. To attach, you'll really want some super glued gel. These numbers usually come with some kind of cement, but it sucks. So I would get super glued gel, recommended by Sukovi. All right, you'll need saline solution. That's what hydraulically drives the collection of the semen and administering of semen. So you can mix your own or you can just buy these Addy packs. It's just sterile saline solution for contacts. Works really well. You'll need some antibiotic. Gentamicin is what I use. It's prescription only, but if you tell your vet you're doing some mad scientist bee breeding work, they should be able to write a script for you for that. These are really good syringes for uh, putting a little bit of saline solution out to flush your tip or just 
keeping saline solution with antibiotic handy. So I usually keep a couple of these filled. These little wash bottles, eight ounce or so, I think, really handy. Fill one with alcohol to sterilize your tip, sterilize equipment, and then one with distilled water that you can flush it afterwards, like flush your tip before you start to use it. This thing is really handy. If you can see it, it's just a very fine piece of wire. If you get mucus in the end of your tip, or it just dries, gets a little crusty and gets plugged, you can easily clear it out with this little thing. You'll, you'd be glad you had it. My, oh, I didn't hit my CO2 setup. As I said before, CO2 anesthetizes the queens and it also stimulates oviposition. So I have a big bottle here. They have miniature setups with smaller cartridges even and little regulators. This is just a CO2 tank and a flow meter I got at a welding shop. You can turn your gas on and then you can operate it very efficiently and let just enough through to anesthetize your queens. My scope, it's just a cheap AM scope, nothing fancy. Stereo zoom, you don't need extreme magnification to collect semen or inseminate queen. So something like this with an articulating arm works really well. Uh, the last piece here, just supplemental lighting. You'll find doing this type of work, you really want the place to be well lit. And another cool thing about these is you can flip it up and you can magnify. So if you're putting a disc on a queen or, you know, assembling all your parts and pieces here, this lights the way and the magnification is definitely appreciated. So that's my setup for instrumental insemination of honeybees. I hope this video has been of some use to you.